Welcome to my cyanotype photography lab. It's also known as my bathroom. It's a room in my house where uh, it's big enough for me to uh, coat large pieces of paper with a solution and there's no sunlight that gets into this room so I won't inadvertently expose uh, my, my light sensitized paper before I'm ready to. So what I have here is um, the ingredients for cyanotype photography. I've gone to Bostick and Sullivan for um, solution A and solution B. These are powdered at the moment. They need to be mixed with distilled water and then combined in equal parts in order to create the light sensitizing solution that I can paint onto my paper. Since I'm going to coat five big sheets of paper, I'm going to measure in capfuls. And then um, I've got this board over my tub, which is going to serve as a drying station for my paper. So I've got this little light in the room, and I'm bouncing it off a wall. And so I'm going to be turning off the bright, bright um, bathroom lights and working in this lighting situation when I start using the solution to sensitize the paper. So what I have to do is fill both of these bottles, which contain a dry powder, up to the shoulder with distilled water and shake to make solution A and solution B. And these solutions are, from what I understand, they're going to be good for about six months. Okay, so the deal is I'm going to be putting about two capsules of each uh, solution, as equal parts as I can get, into this um, bowl and mixing them. And then I'm going to take this brush, avoiding touching the metal to the liquid, and I'll saturate my bristles. And then I'm going to be brushing the cyanotype onto my paper. Um, and the goal is to have it spread evenly without puddling. This is four capsules of each solution to make my light sensitive, light sensitizing solution. And I'll easily be able to keep the brush, uh, the metal out of there. I shook the water out of the brush. Oh, gonna need two hands. My paper is lime green. It's relatively evenly coated, but it's not perfect. I've got uh, two sheets drying over the tub. One sheet is actually drying in the tub, and one on my toilet, and one on the floor, and then there's me. I'll go ahead and video tomorrow and show you what happens.